Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. Today I'm gonna to be cutting up the whole meats that were just in my Costco haul. There's a whole beef ribeye. And then I'm going to show you how I vacuum seal it. And I'm curious to see like how many steaks and pork chops I'm gonna get out of each one um, to really see the value there. Anyhow, let's get on with this video. Okay, so we're gonna start with, first of all, showing you that I have a Japanese knife to cut my steaks, and I've only used it a few times. It's still relatively new to me. This is a Gaiuto 210 millimeter knife. And um, it's basically a chef's knife and it has a curved, little curved, I forget what they call it, but a curved front here, and then it's straighter back here. We're gonna see how this goes for cutting all my meat. This is um, 15, almost 16 pounds of the beef ribeye, boneless ribeye. Um, this is USDA choice grade. It's quite big. I'm thinking because it's so big, I'm gonna start with cutting it in half and then just getting half of it out of the way and then I'll show you how I'm cutting the rest of the meat. Okay, so here we have, this is about half, maybe a little bit less than half of what was in the package. Let me just pick up this meat to show you like how beautiful it looks. Look at this. Oh man. I'm gonna cut probably two inches, five to six steaks is how much I'm gonna get out of here. Um, and it's probably nine inches long. And I don't know if you're supposed to cut off that little end. I'm gonna check it out because I really don't know. Like I said, this is my first time cutting up whole cuts of meat. So let's see. Okay, so I'm thinking that they usually cut off that little piece right here, but I'm not going to, because um, obviously I'm not gonna let any meat go to waste. Once I cut these all out, I'm gonna weigh them just to let you guys know how many ounces each steak is, but yeah, that's about a maybe one and a half inch steak there. So beautiful. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just set this aside and keep on cutting. off this little piece when you buy it in the grocery store because usually, usually your ribeye doesn't look like this with like a little piece hanging off so I think they usually cut that piece off like I said I'm just gonna keep it on this is a nice big fatty piece right here Six. And this guy he's gonna be a little fat guy because um, I'm gonna trim it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the leftover pieces. Put them somewhere. Maybe I'll just like make a bunch of little pieces of leftover ribeye <laughs> that I could use for something, you know, street tacos or something. So, but I wanna try to keep to this uh, two inch deal here. I guess that's the beauty of buying it in whole, whole pieces because you have all this leftover that you can do something with. Okay, that one wasn't so pretty there on the, the fat part, but seven steaks out of a little bit less than half of that. And then plus this little guy. So like I said, I'm just gonna set it aside for now and probably vacuum seal it, um, you know, with a bunch of pieces of it. Cause that's, that's good meat, don't wanna waste that. Okay, so here is the other half. We got seven steaks out of the other one it could be six, seven steaks again off of this one. From what I saw online, it doesn't look like people are cutting off that little fatty end that I was talking about. Um, 
but they are using a much longer knife, so I might have to invest in another knife that's longer. Um, I really am into Japanese knives right now. This is my second one. This is my first like official Japanese one. The other one I have is advertised as Japanese, but they're actually made in China. Um, this one is made in Japan. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this one and then we are gonna vacuum seal it. Look at that, there's so much beautiful marbling in there. is number seven. What I'm gonna do next is now I have my vacuum sealer out. Um, I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in it. This was a great little cheap one. I think it was $38. Um, I think I bought it when it was like $5 off some Amazon sale. Um, and it has a moist or dry setting. Obviously meat is kind of moist, so I put it on the moist setting. Um, it has a seal button and then a vacuum seal button. So I'll be using the vacuum seal button. Um, it does come with, I think, a couple of bags, um, but I end up buying a whole roll off of Amazon. Again, I'll put the links for it down below. Out of Air is the name of the company. Um, it's BPA free for sous vide. You always want BPA free, even if you know, you're know you not using a, a sous vide to cook your meats, I recommend getting BPA free. Um, vacuum sealer bags. So this one is 11 inches by 100 feet. I don't know how much of it is left. I've been using it for, you know, probably like two months now. And um, this is great because you can cut it to size. So let's move that back a little bit. So I can just pull out as much as I need and then, you know, slice it. So I'm going to just put one steak. We'll try one and see if it fits in this one. If not, I have a smaller roll that I can make longer to fit them in. Um, so we'll just try one. And what I like about this brand is there's like a little white section here where you can put your information. So you can put what it is, the date that you vacuum sealed it. Um, I like to put how many ounces or pounds the meat is. And then I also like to put if I seasoned it beforehand. For sous vide, sometimes people like to put their seasoning on the meat first. That way they can just take it from the freezer and cook it directly in this bag. Um, I kind of do that with like half and half. Um, that's what I found whenever I buy my meats from Costco. I'll season half of them and then the other half I won't in case I wanna do like um, fresh herbs or something else with them. Five and a half lines there. This first one I'm not gonna season. And then also these little Sharpie pins. Um, these ones seem to work the best on these little bags. So it's like the fine, ultra, ultra fine point Sharpies. Today is the 13th, Friday the 13th. So I'm gonna put that it is 5, 13, 22. This is boneless ribeye. Um, you know, you could put, got it from Costco or whatever, but um, I, I know it's gonna be from Costco because I'm only buying and packaging my meats from Costco right now. Since I just cut the roll here, um, it's gonna have two, two openings now. So this one, because I just sliced it off the roll, and then now this one is also open. So the first thing you wanna do is actually seal it. So I'm gonna seal this first. And this one actually has a cutter too. So if I wanted to put my roll, you know, around it or whatever, put it behind it and drag it out over, I could slice it right on here, but that one comes with a cutter. Okay, so I'm gonna seal first. So it's now sealed right here. The next step before you put your meat in is to actually fold like a little cuff. Like I usually do maybe about an inch cuff, something like that. 
That way, um, when you put your meat in, like the juices and stuff won't mess with where your seal is going to be. So I learned that from Guga at sous vide everything. So you'll want to make sure that you do this. So I'm just going to make like a bunch of bags like this, but I do want to go ahead and weigh my steak first before I seal this one. This guy weighs 10 ounces seven eighths <laughs> so um i don't know what is that 10.75 something like that um so i'm gonna just write here on my little bag that it's um 10.7 ounces and i'm not going to pre-season this one Oh, oh, it's folding up on itself in there. There we go. Okay, so now it's in there and um, you always wanna leave like one to two inches anyways. So that's kind of a good amount. So now I'm going to unfold it. So now we're gonna do the vac and seal method. Now this guy has been sealed and he's ready to go in the freezer. Um, what I'm going to do with the next ones is um, I will show you how you can pre-season it first. I learned this from Guga too, is that he likes to get a plate to season with. And I just have a black pepper here, some garlic powder and some coarse, I guess, coarse salt. And this is actually light gray salt. I'm just using that because I have like a big old bag of it. So I'm just trying to use it up and then I'll switch over to something else. So I just weighed this one. This one weighs one, 1 1.2 pounds. So pretty good size one, definitely a good size one to share. And then what I'm gonna do now is start with my salt. And you like you don't have to be afraid about like putting too much on it, especially this is sorry for sous vide. Uh, if you're just pan frying it or something, you might want to just season it. Um, you know, as you're cooking it, don't pre season it before. This is just for sous vide. So I'm um, putting my salt on, and then we're gonna put some black pepper. and then the garlic powder. And it might seem like a lot, but for sous vide, um, a lot of it gets washed away afterwards, so it's okay to be very generous. And then, um, according to Guga, this is what he does, is he will flip it over. And now we're gonna do this side. What he does is he takes it and tries to push the seasoning that's fallen onto the plate. You wanna try to get the side that's not the fatty part. Um, there we go. And you kinda just wanna season that part where the fat is not, because obviously seasoning is not gonna stick to this fatty part. So he kinda just does that just to get this part seasoned. And I already have my bag prepped. I have folded it down. I have all the information written right here, what it is. And now we're just gonna slide it into the bag again. So in that time, I've done two steaks. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and season, I think, half of these. And when I get back, I will show you what I've got. Back, all the steaks are vacuum sealed. Um, so these are all the ones that are unseasoned. And these are the ones that are seasoned. And isn't it funny how like the seasoned ones look brown? See, compared to this, interesting, huh? Um, so, 
I got 15 ribeyes and then this little guy here that is, I didn't even weigh it, but it's, you know, it's probably like six ounces, seven ounces, something like that. So yeah, not bad, 15 ribeyes, $172. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a learning experience for me as well. Um, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you in the next one.